In today's video, we're going to look at doubles and near doubles to see how doubles can help us solve near doubles. First, let's do a review of doubles facts. So remember that the word double means two of the same thing. So here's some examples of doubles facts. Five plus five, it's a doubles fact because it's two, we're adding two of the same number, five and five. Another example would be two plus two, eight plus eight, and 10 plus 10. Notice that both digits we're adding are the same exact number. What other doubles facts can you think of? Now that we reviewed what doubles facts are, we're going to learn about near doubles or doubles plus one. So here are some examples of doubles plus one or near doubles. Five plus six, three plus two, 9 plus 8, and 10 plus 11. These are near doubles or doubles plus 1 because it's 1 away from the doubles fact. We can look at the lower number, add 1, and have the sum. So let's take a closer look at these. Let's take a closer look at this first example. So if I look at 5 plus 6 as a near doubles fact or doubles plus 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at which number is smaller. So looking at 5 plus 6, I know that 5 is the smaller number. So I'm going to use the doubles fact of 5 plus 5 to help me solve. So looking at my 5, my smaller number, I can use 5 plus 5. Well, I know that 5 plus 5 is 10. So if I'm doing one more because in order to get to six, I need to add one more to five. So five plus five plus one more is 10. In my mind, I'm thinking that if five plus five is 10, I need one more to get to that six. So five plus six equals 11. Let's look at another example, three plus two. So again, to do my Adding with near doubles, I'm going to find my smaller number. Looking at three and two, I know that two is my smaller number. So think about which doubles fact I would make to help me solve three plus two. You're right, it's two plus two. If I choose that number, a doubles fact would mean both numbers I'm adding are the same number. So thinking about this, I know that two plus two is four, but I'm not adding two plus two. I'm adding two plus three. I know that three is just one more than two, so all I have to do to figure that out is add one more. So in my brain, I'm thinking two plus two is four. I'm one away, so I just need to add more. So if two plus two is four, so then three plus two is five. I just have to add one more to that sum. Let's take a look at another example together. So right now I have eight plus nine. So think right now, which one would I make the doubles fact out of? Eight is the smaller number, so I'm going to make my doubles fact from my eight. Write down what doubles fact you would use to help you with eight plus nine. The doubles fact you could use would be eight plus eight. If I know eight plus eight, then I can help myself know eight plus nine. So eight plus eight is 16. I'm adding eight plus nine, which is only one more than eight plus eight. So I add one more to the end. Eight plus eight is 16, plus one more is 17. So in my head I'm thinking, 8 plus 8 equals 16, so 8 plus 9 is 17. It's just one more. As you're working today, um, you'll see some examples of problems with some cubes that can help you as well. So the different colors of cubes can help give you hints on what doubles fact to use as well. If I look at this set of cubes, I see that there are four cubes on the top and they're all blue. And I see that there are five cubes on the bottom four of which are blue, 
and one is green. So looking at this, I can see where my doubles fact would be. The blue ones make four plus four. So thinking in my head, I know four plus four is eight. I only have one more than that. So four plus five equals nine. This is the same thinking. It's just using a different visual representation. Take a look at one more example. Look at the purple cubes for your doubles fact and then the green one to help you make your new um, equation. What doubles fact would you use to help you yourself solve this? You can pause the video now and write down your doubles fact. Now that you've written your doubles fact down, we're going to do it together. I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six purple cubes on the top and one, two, three, four, five, six purple cubes on the bottom. So a doubles fact that I could use would be six plus six, which I know is 12. Now pause the video and write what equation you could solve with all of the cubes together. Now that you've written your new equation, see if yours matches mine. I see six on the top, and I see seven altogether on the bottom with six purple and one green. So my new fact is six plus seven. If I already figured out that six plus six is 12, I only have that one more green one. So if six plus six is 12, then six plus seven is 13. It's just one more. As usual, please watch the video as many times as you need to completely understand the concept. Um, and if you get stuck partway through your independent work today, please do go back and watch or ask a friend for some help.